I really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Hey there, my name is Devori Darkins. Welcome back to my channel. And we are going to just react live to what just took place. An assassination attempt on the president, Donald J. Trump. I was literally actually watching the rally live. And then I saw that the feed had turned off. And I was like, wait, what's going on? So I'm not even going to talk any further. Let's watch the clip and we will react live to this. I really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Now, I'm going to pause it because I want to give you guys my actual like off the top thoughts. So I served 13 years in the military. That definitely is a gunshot. No question about it. And, um, you know, at first I thought it was like it was just something popping in his ear. But you can actually tell um, that those were gunshots just by the it, it's it sounds like it's a pop, but there's like some uh, an echo. And that sounds like an AR to me, that sounds like a rifle to me. But anyways, let me let me play this for you guys so you guys can watch this all the way through. I really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Secret Service is on it. Shooters down. 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 Look how other people they're just standing. <laughs> Oh, just leave the shoes. So we gotta move to the Let me get my shoes. Okay, He said, wait, 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 wait. Wow. The USA. Yep, that's right. That is right. And they, yep, they're quick. I mean, this is like in a matter of 30 seconds, he's out of there. So obviously, uh, the first initial reaction is, I mean, this is what Secret Service is all about, right? <clears throat> they get in there, they're in, they're out. I mean, I mean, kudos to, to them, of course. They did repeat shooter down, so there definitely was a shooter. So for all those news outlets out there talking about, oh, it's just large pop sounds, you know, that's all it really was. It wasn't gunshots. They're they're so ridiculous, right? They they they're I can't even give you guys actual words. It's just it's just stupid. They they say shooter down multiple times in the clip. There's also reports of two people are dead at the rally. They were shot. So I mean, there was a shooter. Okay, so if people are trying to come out there and tell you otherwise, it's just re 
ridiculous. Now, what I'm going to do here is actually bring up this other uh, post here. Uh, Elon Musk and in his initial response to all of this. Let's go here. There we go. Um, look, at this, look at this post. I fully endorse President Trump and hope for his rapid recovery. So obviously there were already reports that he had donated to President Trump's campaign uh, to the, I believe it's the America First PAC. Don't quote me on it. And that actual PAC supports the main PAC for President Trump. Uh, then he posts the actual picture here. Uh, another quote, last time America had a candidate this tough was Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah, I'm not, I didn't grow up in that time, so I, I really wouldn't know. Um, and what we'll also do is go over to New York Times. They have these uh, updates. Check it out here. Let's see here, let's refresh. Former president appeared to have blood on his face, appeared he has blood on his face as he was rushed from the stage by the Secret Service following a series of loud pops. It's just so ridiculous. I mean, come on, just call it what it is, people. During a rally in Pennsylvania, a spokesman for the Secret Service said Mr. Trump was safe after an incident. Well, let's see here. Um, okay, all of the for formalities. Uh, former pr President George W. Bush issued a statement. Lauren and I are grateful that President Trump is safe following the cowardly attack on his life. And we recommend that men and women of the Secret Service for their speedy response. I mean, the, the Secret Service, let's just go back. Uh, let's check out this other clip here that's coming in on X. It appears okay, that okay. they found to the me, shooter. As you're let's see. trying to figure out if you're okay, what's going on? Was he shot? Was he wounded? Then we heard him on the microphone, Shannon, saying, let me grab my shoes as they tried to take them off. Oh, so yep. we're just trying to figure out what happened. There it is. So that is a video of someone that was shot at the actual rally. Uh, so there's no cheap fakes there. This is a real thing. Um, they're calling this the potential shooter. Who knows? Okay. They're, they're on the bleacher, so I don't think that's where the shooter was. Um, so looks like someone who uh, the bullet probably uh, bounced off something and then killed that person. That's probably what happened. You can't enter these rallies with a weapon. So I'm sure the security people did their job in that regard. Okay, yeah, so let's go back over here to the New York Times live updates. Uh, let's see here. All formalities, you know, they're all going to release their statements and supporting and condemning what happened. There's no question about that. Uh, Governor Gavin Newsom, a California key surrogate of the Biden campaign, said in a statement that violence has no place in our democracy. My thoughts are with President Trump and everyone impacted at the rally today. Uh, let's see here. There was over 50,000 people. That's crazy. That is crazy. How many people were, were, were there? That's insane. Yep. That is insane. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah. Okay. So it's just all, you know, normal statements, what you're going to see. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, oh, hold on. Let's see. James Hillings, chairman of the Butler County Republican Committee, said in a phone interview when he was about 30 to 40 feet away from Trump, when he heard what sounded like shots ring out, they told us all to get down to get down on the ground. This is no surprise, right? This is no surprise whatsoever. Uh, I'm surprised it it actually took this long, you know, which sounds pretty crazy of what I just said. Um, and when someone is really, at, you know, you could call me a conspiracy theorist, of course. But whenever there is this uh, one individual who has a huge following that is causing a disruption in the way that America operates, especially in the political arena, there is a high risk that this person will have an assassination attempt on their life. There's no question. Just go back to JFK. Go back to Abraham Lincoln. Go back to MLK. Go back to Malcolm X. Right? I mean, if you just look at any... It doesn't matter whether you agree with those people, whether you support those names, whether you like them or you hated them. It doesn't matter. What matters, you know what they all have in common, is they were the, they were the face of a movement that was disrupting how America works, especially politically. And so when that happens, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, um, those people usually are targeted. And whether that is from targeted because there is some grand conspiracy from the government or 
target it because people, some person woke up this morning and really wants to see that person gone. I mean, that that is a possibility. But one thing's for sure, it doesn't matter what side you're on, you don't support political violence, right? No one, no one should be condoning that, no one should be supporting that. And I, I really do believe our, our purpose in life on this planet is to serve people, right? And when you're doing something great, doing something that is beyond yourself, beyond what people can comprehend, you will be challenged. Absolutely. You will be challenged. You know, my my heart and my 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 love goes out to obviously President Trump. He's clearly fine. He will be fine. But I also respect him a great deal because he represents something that I believe uh, is necessary in our country. He represents disruption. And the reason why disruption sometimes is necessary because sometimes we need to be disrupted and woken up from the lies that have been told to us, from things that are not really serving us, from a life that isn't serving us. And the only way we truly change is when we're disrupted, right? And that's not a comfortable experience. That is an uncomfortable experience. So, you know, there's a lot of things that we could talk about and we can go over uh, that we don't like, that we're afraid, that we don't support, that we just think is the worst thing for our country. But in the end, it's all necessary because people are waking up. People are seeing what's going on. People are finally, you know, speaking out loud, standing up for what they truly believe in. And for the longest time, our country has been asleep since 9-11. I mean, after 9-11, you know, pretty much after 2010, the uh, crash, right, 2009 crash, since then, our country went back to sleep. Everybody goes about their day robots, right? And uh, these politicians have been lying from day one about what has happened, what is true, what is not true, where the money's really going. And here comes Donald Trump disrupting that. And that's why they don't like him. I mean, you can call him whenever you want. You can call him an a-hole. You can believe that he's racist. You could do all of that. That's your opinion. You're entitled to that. But you cannot, I don't believe, disagree with this. He represents disruption. He represents a person that the government cannot control. And so they don't like that. And so if the government cannot control the president, it's going to be a problem. That's really what's going on here. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, so it's been a very chaotic couple of minutes. Um, a lot of tension right now out here. Uh, so as you mentioned, Donald Trump was on stage. It was just moments after he had walked onto the stage to deliver remarks. He was very briefly into that. Uh, and so I'm going to show you behind me. So around this area, somewhere off on that field over there is where we heard bunch of banging or cracking, loud cracking noises. At first I thought, is that, a, is that fireworks? I had no idea what it was. Um, all of a sudden everyone started screaming. On the other side of the rally, on the other side of the stage, um, a lot of steam went off back here, right behind that tractor over there, if you can see it. Clearly right now everybody is being evacuated from this rally venue. They are very angry. You can hear people in the crowd are, some people are crying. Some people are screaming. People are very angry with what just happened. They're angry at the media. They're screaming at the media behind me. Um we'll just pause it right here. Um, very unclear exactly what happened. We know that Donald Trump, of course, left the venue immediately. He was escorted off the stage by Secret Service. We saw his motorcade uh, quickly leave. And, and drive off. Uh, we don't have many answers right now. Uh, it's also my phones are jammed. I've been trying to see if I could contact some of mm. Donald Trump's team, get any sort of update. Uh, there is no service or signal right now. So we're all just trying to see what exactly is happening. The bottom line today was just like any other day, Trump rally, 50,000 people there, by the way. Shots were fired. There are reports of people that did die. Uh, I think it said two. But I've, I've yet to see an actual official uh, article on that because I think there's still that I find it funny when, when the news wants to get clicks, they'll just put anything out. They don't even care. But when it comes to something like this, they're slow as heck to release anything. Um, so uh, anyways, um, point is, is normal rally as usual. 
But again, when you're when you're doing the God's work, when you're doing something this great, something this big, um, you know, you will be challenged. There will be people gunning for you. And unfortunately, someone took it upon themselves to think that they were going to get away with this. And out of all people, they think they were going to assassinate the president of the United States or former president of the United States, which I think is just ludicrous. I mean, if you're going to do it, at least get it right, get it done and finished the job. I mean, Jesus, uh, I, I can't imagine once they, they find that person um, or if that person is even still alive. Right. So we don't know all this. This is just an initial reaction. What is your reaction to all this? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video today and we'll see you in the next one.